What's going on YouTube? It's your boy X. And I'll be gaming. And we back here with more Madden. Part two of the face of the franchise. Let's get it. Huh? But you're the hottest scoop this year. Got a few moments for an exclusive? Sorry, maybe some other time, Reg. I got a lot to prep for the playoffs. But I'll tell you what, if you give me the exclusive, I'll put together your senior highlight reel for recruiting next year. Why, you really do that? Heck yeah. I, mean, I got a lot of tricks to get a lot of eyes on your tape, too. Yeah, I do that for all the guys that are pretty nice to me, which is the kicker and now you. So, I need as much help as I can get with recruiting. All right, let's get started. Wow, great, okay. Um, let me think. Oh, regarding your last game, what would you say is your biggest strength? Biggest strength? Uh, just think of one of them, any. Oh, no! I was able to get to the line and make adjustments to put our team in the best position to make big plays. All right, well, if you're not gonna play me, I quit. Well, Reg, I guess there's your exclusive. Need a word from my office. I was trying to look out for men's health, bro. That's all. Let's see, let's see. Well, the anticipation is over. A year's worth of blood, sweat, and tears has come down to this. Game time in the state championship. And that's a solid effort on the return as the offense heads onto the field. First play of the drive for the Tigers. And you know, with a state championship on the line, every drive can seem like it's the most critical. Oh my God, I did that by accident. I didn't think he was gonna get blocked. I didn't think he was gonna get blocked. High schoolers and social media, it can be a recipe for drama. And Clay Rady stirred up some controversy this week when he predicted a championship win for his brush hops. You can imagine how well that went over with QB2 and his squad. Spoiler alert, not well. After a solid pickup on that previous play, it's first and ten. Hawk gets the rock. Look at him. Push there was no holes. About the 42 yard line. Okay, so you're hitting me up on social media wanting to know exactly what Clay Rainey posted, and it was an invitation to his championship party tomorrow evening. Yes. Very bold, and you know what? He was pretty quick to delete it, too. In the meantime, they pick up the first through the air on second down. Hawks lined up behind QB2. They'll hit the ground running on first. And all it takes is one play to move the sticks. A great run there. A pickup of 10 yards. Good for another first down. Another give to Hawk. And he takes it into the end zone. Touchdown, Tigers. They waste no time. Yeah, we did that shit. We did that shit. Now the try to add one more. And that'll make our score 7-0. You know I'm going to Clemson though after this, right? After giving up the touchdown, the Brush Hog 
sends her back to receive. Fielded in the end zone. And this will be a touchback as he drops to one knee. Quarterback Gavin Dixon and his brush hogs offense take the field for the first time in this title game. He'll start the drive here with Rainey. And there's uh -huh. a flag on the field as he's taken down. Holding offense. Oh, okay. So there you go. Offensive holding as they give up 10 yards. With just a mile to go, it's first and very long. Draw play. Here's Rainey. And he stopped at the 27. So the comments keep coming in now on my channel. And yes, I did see Sammy Hawk's reaction to the Clay Rainey party in that. For those who haven't, here's what Hawk said. You can delete the post, but screenshots live forever. There you have it. Everyone from playmakers to politicians take heed. The new era of boats and board material is here. Looking to pass on first down. Into the flat, it's complete. And he's out of bounds at the 38-yard line. Well, for the Brush Hogs, this game marks a return to the state championship. It's, it's a chance for redemption after losing a blowout just one year ago in this very same stadium. The history they bring to this matchup adds a whole Troy new to this showdown. A big play started the drive, but here they are suddenly facing a third and ten. Back to throw. Here's Dixon. Delivers on the screen, and he's dropped in the back. I don't know what that means. So earlier today, while speaking with Brush Hogs coach George Thompson, I asked if their loss in the title game last year came up at all in their preparations this week. You know what he said? He said they took the game film and they buried it. He insisted they put it behind them and that they are ready. The ball's loose. Bro, no way. Brush Hogs send out their offense. And this is excellent field position as they begin this drive. They snap the ball. Right there. It's a, it's a, no! And he's all the way home. Okay, I capped, I capped, I capped. My, that's my fault. Tyrus Poole. I got to get used to this game, bro. Worthy of recruits to watch.com. And that'll tie things up as bro. they prepare to kick it away. That's my fault. I mean, he should have fucking fumbled the ball. The Tigers are back to receive. Caught in the end zone. And he's tackled at the 26 yard line. The Tigers send out their offense. And it's a tie ball game as they settle in for this play. QB2 takes the snap. He finds his man on the in route. Now he's taken down. Give him nine there on that completion. Second down on the way. Shotgun snap. Here's QB2. Throws left. It's complete. A 23. Wait, how'd I do that? And a first down and much, much more. Times run out on this first quarter of action. When we return, the quest for a state championship continues. Stay tuned. We're ready to go now with the second quarter in a close matchup. The Tigers will run it. This one is stuffed at the 39. When you look around this stadium, clearly a state championship of this caliber will draw thousands upon thousands of fans, and there's more than a few NFL players among them. Before the game, I saw guys like Patrick Peterson and the Honey Badger, Tyron Matthew, signing a bunch of autographs. They'll try to pick up the first with Hawk, and he's down at the 30. I spoke of the NFL players in attendance here today. Earl Thomas and Jarvis Landry happen to be watching from the sidelines tonight. And get this, 
Adrian Peterson showed up at Coach Fentu's request and surprised his players with a pregame speech. Can you imagine that? All right, here we go. It's first and goal. QB2 looks downfield. Oh, and that would have been a touchdown if it hadn't been for the quick hands on defense. From the five yard line, now it's second and goal. And he goes straight out of touchdown. The Tigers will go for two here. Yo, I gotta do this because. Looking for a receiver. Now this game is getting me tight. Gavin Dixon, the field general of this Brush Hogs team and someone who comes from a family with We got a QB contain, guys. Football. His dad Clyde played running back for the Huskers as did his older brother Tommy. Mom Olivia was a star on the Huskers track team, so I'm not so sure Gavin has ever even considered going anywhere else. Getting ready for the shotgun snap. Here's Dixon. Draw play, here's Rainey. Picks up a nice chunk of yards before he's brought down. I mentioned earlier Gavin's ties to Nebraska football. Look, he's obviously been asked about it since I think the eighth grade. And to his credit, he's never been shy about saying, yeah, I mean, if given the opportunity, who wouldn't want to be a Husker? So it's not a done deal till he signs that letter of intent, but there's a very good chance we'll see this young man in Lincoln someday. First down, and here's the ground attack. And he's down at the I feel like he should have been down somehow. You know, thing about Nebraska football, we got a couple of former Fort Huskers in the house here today. Levante David and Rex Burkhead are here to take in this championship game. Tip of the cap to my pal Reggie for the heads up on that. Changing things up, looking to pass now. A short goal complete to his tight end. Bro, we got to cover better. I don't know what to do. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Well, I've got a moment here. I'd like to we got, I'm like really trying to focus because this game is... My defense is just capping right now. Reggie writes for the school newspaper that's covered QB2 since he joined the team. And I got to tell you, that little spark, he has really earned my respect. Fucking screens. Might be after my job one day. With halftime just around the corner, here's second down. I was going to go to this, the nigga in the middle of that slot. Shotgun snap. Here's Dixon. Right there. Going to Kirkpatrick. It's hit off. So the Tigers are lined up now, and they'll have to balance their playbook against the remaining clock as they move downfield. And that'll I think I got hit as I threw. He took the hit as he threw. So I mentioned the game notes Reggie gave me earlier, and here's an interesting fact. Rush Hogs head coach George Thompson once played Coach Fetu in a football game back in college. Now, it wasn't for a championship, but Coach Fetu's Trojans won that night. Look at slow as hell. Amazing how we've come full circle here today. Lined up in the shotgun. On 
first down, he'll drop back. And a great catch there as he's able to keep a foot in bounds. And he's brought down at the 44. 11 yards on the play. And they pick up the first. Yo, guys, like, honestly. Right there, right there. No, that's not what you're supposed to do. He's supposed to go to the outside. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. No cap. Yo, there's no way this game did that, bro. He was supposed to go to the outside. Like, it said that he's going to fade outside, not inside. Once more on second down, here's QB2. Fires down the middle, and it's complete. And he's taken down at the 18-yard line. A 26-yard gain and a visit to the red zone. Hike the ball. He'll throw again. Pulls it in in the end zone. Touchdown, Tigers. Oh, uh, oh. Uh. Jameson Maddox. Bink. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. Oh my god, they made me the wrong nigga. Now their drive will start inside the 20. So the brush hogs are lined up now. And you know, signal caller Gavin Dixon, he's no stranger to pressure. He led the way to victory in a couple nail biters earlier this season. And we'll call it no gain on the play as it'll be second down. So after two quarters of action, it's the Tigers out in front. Kevin Connors and our entire EA Sports team are back after the break. We can only hope the rascals who pulled off that halftime prank are brought to justice. Either way, it's time to get back to the game. Here comes the second half. Fielded in the end zone, and he'll take a knee. Damn, we gotta play defense again, bro. Nah, I gotta focus, bro. This shit is like crazy. And there's no other way to say it. They need a touchdown to stay within striking distance in this game. Now a receiver comes across on the sweep. And a short pickup here as he'll get to about 27. <laughs> I've got to take a break from the game here for a moment. I think the pranksters I mentioned earlier are still on the loose. Over in the Brush Hogs fan section, they're holding up signs they found underneath their seats with the letters that spell... Well, let's just say there's a reason we aren't pointing our cameras at them right now. You can feel the desperation as the offense lines up on third down. They're facing a challenging deficit. Back to pass. Into the flat. It's complete. And they can't avoid a fourth down as that play call comes up empty. No game. So I remember in one of the NCAA games, if you celebrated at the sack or some shit or a touchdown, you would get an automatic fucking penalty. Here's Washington. That shit made me go in the middle. I was trying to go to the sideline. Jesus, man. Opening play of this drive for the Tigers. Remarkable consistency so far. They've scored on every possession to this point of the game. He's going deep for Fuller. He pulls it in. How you like me now? Touchdown. <laughs> Benny Fuller. Whoa, they say shit when, when, when you celebrate with them? I said, how you like me now? To add the extra point. And they add yet another point. One of many in this match. I ain't going front. That's crazy. So the scoreboard reads 29. To seven. Following that costly score, here comes the kick. Caught in the end zone. And this will come out to the 25 as he drops to one knee for the touchback. 
Here come the Brush Hawks to start the drive. And with this kind of deficit, Gavin Dixon and his playmakers will need to come up with something big on this drive. And he'll get this across the 25, but only to about the 27-yard line. A gain of two on the play, and that makes it second and eight. Getting ready for the shotgun snap. Here's Dixon. They go back to Rainey. And he comes up with a nice game. Let's get it. Let's get it. Bro, I promise you, like, this is crazy. Like, I think, I want to see what colleges they have, but I'm most likely going to fucking um, Clemson. Or that or Miami. Oh, my God. I got to work on my defense, bro. First and ten. Here's Dixon to start the series. Oh, change of plans. He tucks the ball. And he'll slide to avoid the tackle. A gain of three on the play. So it'll be second and seven. Shotgun look. On second down, he'll drop back. Incomplete. They just weren't able to link up on that play. The defense is set up for the pass. Out of the gun on third. Caught by Rosas. Oh. And that won't be enough to move the sticks. Fourth down coming up. Do they have a return it, guys? I think I'm gonna return it. And he gives it the boot. Now we about to run the ball, cause I'm I don't really wanna run the clock. Cause it's not really doing much or anything. First play of the drive for the Tigers. And let's keep an eye out, but they may get more conservative as they nurture that size of the lead. They'll run it with Hawk. And that'll be a pair of yards on first down. Patrick Cohen's on the tackle. All right, so following the short game, here's second down. Hawk gets another carry. Oh, he's gone. He's he gone. Yeah, he's fuck out of here. Yo, we need demolishing these kids, bro. The Brush Hawks take over on offense. And there's Dixon making some final preparations as we await the snap. Looking to pass. He's got bro. How do you just let a dude catch that, though? The completion good for three, bringing up but you stand right there. There's receiving in nowhere to go. Got nervous. Put the fear of God in that boy. Before they can settle in for the snap, they'll signal the end of the third quarter. And after a quick break, we'll return with the final act of this. Let's do this, bro. I'm ready to win my first state championship. Defense looks to end this drive on third down. Out of the gun, it's Dixon. Oh, sack. There you go. And down he goes. And this uh, play we doing spicy. Writes itself. They're going for it on fourth down. Fourth down, it's up to Dixon. Right there. Oh, good defense. Fire first down. So the Tigers will get the football with excellent field position. 
motion. QB2 gives it to Hawk. And he's just that nigga got just fucked up. While doing some prep for this game, I got a recommendation to check out RecruitsToWatch.com. And let me tell you, QB2 is well represented with some jaw-dropping highlights. And you gotta remember, until earlier this season, he hadn't thrown a down of football since Pop Warner. Think about that kind of meteoric rise. Third and short, but the defense is thinking pass. But they fought wrong. Here's the run. And that's a solid pickup before he's finally taken down. Of course it is, because I'm I'm on the sticks. Now the linemen on both sides dig in for this first and goal. Going with the run. He will not be denied. Touchdown, Tigers. Sammy Hawk. And there is no question. He's the player of the game. How? Attempt is goal. Our score now 43 to 7. After giving up the touchdown, the brush hogs are back to receive. Caught I don't know how he got played the game. I think I deserve played the game. See a return here as he kneels for the touchback. Needing this drive to finish in the end zone. It's first down. Throwing to start the drive. Here's Dixon. Delivers on the screen. Now he Bro, he should have fumbled. Ain't no way. There, eight yards leading up to second down. I just cracked the shit out of that motherfucker, bro. Looking to pass on second down. A tip ball that's almost intercepted. One last thing on recruits to watch. You can go to the archive and watch videos they have on players that are now in the NFL. I highly recommend you search for DeAndre Hopkins and Le'Veon Bell. I mean, it's like watching someone play Madden. Bro. You know, Madden, the video game. Madden. Getting ready for the shotgun snap. Here's Dixon. Looking to throw again. Look at Mew Mew Mew. Second down. Halfway through the fourth quarter. Here's Yo, we gotta get ten. this, bro. Again, he drops back. Sends it to Kirkpatrick. And he's got the first down. From the gun, it's Dixon. Bro. Down the middle of the field, it's complete. And he stopped at the one. A big time. I don't even know what happened. I think I pressed the wrong thing by accident. Just a massive gain on that last play. Put the D on its heels. They're inside the five now, just brimming with confidence. Oh, and the big eaters on that D line prevent the play from going anywhere. And as we near the end of the game, the grim continues to Bruh. settle in for the brush hogs and their fans nigga wide open what the hell copy 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 now they'll kick the PAT and he knocks it through the score now 43 to 14 following the touchdown the brush hogs Kick it away. He fields it at the two. And he's tackled at the 26 yard line. Do it! Do it! Bro, I don't even know what played. I'm gonna run this one. Opening play of this drive for the Tigers. And they are very much in control of this game. Surveys the field. Carrying it out for Patton. He makes the grab. I'm the best in the game. And I'm the he's into the end zone. Touchdown, Tigers. Davion Patton. A 
show-stopping score from beyond midfield. You didn't say that anything about me. He's got it. Yes, they'll add two to the board. And that play call, not exactly sportsmanlike. We should be in for an interesting handshake between the coaches when this baby's over. Falling further behind on the scoreboard. They are lined up for the return. Fielded in the end zone. Really I mean, he better had it. I was going to crack you again. For a touchback. Here come the Brush Hogs to start the drive. And to be honest, all hope seems lost. But these kids continue to show some heart. Here's Dixon. And they can't Damn. The these niggas can't so fucking... Hold the ball for shit. As we approach the final minute, here's second down. Still looking to throw. It's Dixon. We got him on the ground. It's incomplete, so we're looking at third down. Zero progress on this drive thus far. It's third down. From the gun, looking to throw. Right there, right there, right there. Bro! It's complete. And he's tackled at the 41. The game don't ever it's let me switch from town. Like, I hope you yeah, saw that. Getting ready for the shotgun snap. Here's Dixon. Back to pass on first down. Oh, I cap. They set up the screen and that's Somebody caught my phone, so I that's cap. Good for a first down as he's out just beyond the marker. Operating now on the opposite side of the field. It's first and ten. Out of the gun, they'll throw. Right there, right there, right there. He finds his tight end. Tackled as I he goes the... in the ball. Completion, good for three, bringing up second down. Need to go. The dust in my room. Shot but like, I think I, I'm getting the controls down. To pass on second down. There you go. I think I'm understanding it now. Rainey's lined up behind Dixon. Scans the field. Into the flat, it's complete. And he'll be marked. Man, just shove me off after I try to pick up slam on the play. So it'll be second and seven. Now they'll throw from the gun. Bro, one of y'all have to do to get that. That's not me. And he's taken down at the 13 yard line. It's an 18 yard gain and another first down. And hey, we won. We'll do it. The Tigers. We won, guys. All right, let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. Signing off now. I'm Kevin Connors as we give way to this euphoric scene. Okay, guys, we did something. I know I didn't talk a lot, but that's because, like, it was too easy, man. Too easy. It was nothing to talk about. Know what I mean? Right here, this is my favorite part. The spin move you do. Breaking that dude's ankles and the stiff arm. Woo! Reminds me of my playing days. Samoan warrior style. <laughs> it's too bad you stepped out of bounds. You could have scored a touchdown. Well, there's no way you could have dodged... Tommy, how the heck have you been? Hey, Tommy, how you feeling, man? Good. Got a clean bill of health. I'm ready to get back out there. Come on in, have a seat. Didn't think you'd be back. Trust me, I tried transferring. Doesn't seem like any other schools want to accept a perceived health risk. But I've got a clearance from my doctor, coach. I'm ready to play. What do you think? It's only right you take your spot back. I would just keep it warm for you. You know, the team seems to be doing just fine. I feel bad. Out there. And seeing that you're kind of thin at receiver, I was thinking that maybe I could help out by lining up outside. All right. Shoot, yeah. We'll work something out. 
Like you said, Coach, you got to do what's right for the team. It's the best okay. I've heard since my aunt Lokalani's bore one best in show. I'm going to get the playbook. We're going to start drawing some stuff up. Woo! <laughs> I know I'm not your favorite person in the world right now. You're not even in my top seven billion. That's fair. Just know I did what I did to protect you. Not to try and take everything that you worked for. Yeah, I can understand if you're angry with me, but I'm gonna do everything I can to make it right. I'll tell you how you can make it right. The Midwest Prep Showcase, later this season against the Central Hawks. What about it? Well, they're the best team in the country, and it's a nationally televised game. That means every recruiter's gonna see it. So what do you want from me? I just want you to let me go out there and do my thing and show the recruiters what I can do. It's my last chance of getting an offer. Fine. But if it's not working out out there, then I gotta get the other guys involved. Trust me. You won't need to. Okay. And that's gonna be part of the... Hold up. I mean, I'm gonna sling it regardless. No. One of the loudest venues in the NFL on okay. We pausing it. And that's gonna be the end of this video. I know it was a little short, but I got to do things. You know what I mean? So, I hope all y'all liked the video. Thank you for subscribing. I know I wasn't talking that much. I'm sorry. Sorry. I talk more a little bit the next one. It wasn't as hype as the other one. I'm sorry. Alright. I appreciate all y'all. I love y'all. Peace.